Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm in the middle of a bunch of projects, so the shop's kind of a disaster, but um, we'll get things out of the road here a little bit. I thought I'd do a quick video on, I did an electrical video a while back, and uh, it seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, I got a bunch of comments about how it wasn't to code, and you know how I feel about that, so... I'm sure all you electricians will be like, holy shit, he wired a, he wired a uh, whip out of Romex. Oh my gosh, that guy, he's trying to kill somebody. So if you have those comments, woohoo, that's awesome. Uh, yes, this whip has been wired out of Romex. Uh, it's what I had on hand. It's going to work just fine. So, but what I thought I would do is um, make maybe two videos. This video basically is... We've had some real cold days uh, here in the last couple of days, and uh, I was worried about our ant. We have goats um, that eat the blackberries on our property, and I was kind of worried about them because it got really, really cold, and one of them seems to not be doing so well. Um, and so I wanted to put a heater that would come on at night in their uh, loafing barn. It's an infrared heater, and it's going to be up fairly high, so it won't it won't it won't get them so warm that they won't be used to the cold, but it hopefully will just take the edge off of that really, really cold temperature at night. Um, and so I thought what I'd do is show you guys how I wired up this box. It's a, um, it's an outlet that's wired to a photo cell. Um, and so for those of you guys who are, you know, want to be able to do your own backyard wiring and like me, you don't give a shit about code. Um, I will explain how I did this. I got to take it apart anyways because, um, because I need to be able to screw the box down to where I'm, I'm attaching it to. So I got to get this uh, outlet out of the road. But I'll kind of walk you guys through it, um, which, uh, how the, my particular photo cell works. Let's see, where's my flathead? And, and uh, just kind of step you guys through it. So if you want to do one of these, you know, you can always go down and had I had the time, I would have went down and bought a little short, ex a cheap extension cord and just cut one end of it off. But uh, it was actually cheaper for me to just buy a cord end and use some Romex that I got here at the house. So, um, so yeah, if you're going to do this project, go down and buy a cheap extension cord and you can accomplish the same thing I did here without having a bunch of uh, YouTubers go ape shit on you. So I'm going to go ahead and take this outlet off and uh, show you guys the, the wiring makeup of this thing. And so I just bought a box. Is going to snap? Oh. Uh, so I went to a big box store and got a real cheap outlet because this is just a short-term thing. It's going to see not very much use. It's going to get put away in the summer. Sure, it's going to see a bunch of amperage from the Heater, but uh, again, I if you know, I'll go out and check the extension cord, and if the extension cord isn't getting hot, I ain't worried about it. So you'll notice these cheap outlets come with these little washers, and I'm going to put that back on there so the screw doesn't fall out. So most of the photo cells are real simple. Um, it acts just like a light switch. So it would be, it would be like if you were running the um, power through a light switch, the switch would control one leg. And that's exactly what this does. So if you'll notice, I'll pull this up out of the road. Um, what you've got on one side is, so this is the photo cell wire and it goes to the silver side of the outlet. Um, and then I've got the other side of the outlet tied to the whip and there's a little tab right here that you can break off if you wanted to separate these two poles, but if you leave it, it's just gonna, the white wire is gonna come straight through here and go into the photo cell. And then there's a red and black wire that come out of the photo cell. So you're gonna tie the two black wires together and you're gonna run the red wire to the other side of your outlet. And I've already tested this so I know it works. 
And then, of course, you're going to ground your box and do all that nutty shit. But um, uh, what you're going to do is the black and red wires are the switched wires in the photocell. So when the photocell sees light, and this one happens to be a little bit of a time delay. I, I wish it wasn't, but it's like only a minute or something like that. So after a minute, this photocell opens the circuit, and these red and black wires are no longer connected. There, it's an it's like an open light switch. When you switch your lights off, it just opens the contacts. Same thing here. Um, so this photocell, when it senses light, opens contacts, and the red and black wire are no longer connected. So this is real simple wiring. Black goes to black with a wire nut. And then on this side of the outlet, you've got your white incoming wire going to the white wire on the photocell. And then on this side, you've got the red wire from your outlet going to the photocell. So when the photocell is switched on, it allows the black wire to feed the red wire. So that's all there is to it. Um, I got a little end here and just wired, um, you know, the white wire is on one side, black wires on the other um, ground is to the to the ground pole and uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this thing up inside the goat's pin and shove everything back in there and call it good uh, and then what I'll probably do is I'll document how I suspended the heater up in there because I'm guessing maybe there's some other people with farm animals that you know and this is in Oregon you guys may live somewhere where it gets it actually gets cold really cold and so um, I'm using an infrared heater because I don't want to heat the air, I just want to heat the animal. So we're using a true infrared heater with quartz um, tubes and uh, we're going we're gonna to do it that way. So just a quick little bit on this. I hope you know this helps somebody who's wanting to wire something up like this and uh, we'll get back to you. Thanks.